Good morning, Space Cadets. This is Commanding Officer Maria on one of God's many command stations, reporting to you at 900 hours. I don't know if any of you know or were paying attention, but just over a week ago, the United States launched out of Florida a new space mission, Falcon 9 and Dragon Crew. They lifted off from Florida and they landed at the International Space Center, a multinational collaborative project, meaning that many nations are working together in order to fulfill their mission. Now, this mission is something that we, as the United States, have not participated in since maybe before some of you were even born. So this is an exciting event today in our Bible lesson. Jesus, our commanding officer, gives us, uh, his followers, and his disciples a new space mission. But before we get to that, let's pray. Dear God, we give you thanks. Thanks for science and new ideas. Help us to work together with all people to tell the world about you, to bring your justice, your peace, and your love to the whole world. Thank you for loving us. Amen. Now, if you will join me, I invite you to open up your Spark Story Bible to page 496. This story is called The Great Commission. Jesus went to see the disciples after he had been raised from the dead. They buzzed with excitement. Is that you, Jesus? We're so glad to see you. Do you want something to eat? Jesus smiled. Peace be with you, he said. I have things to tell you. The disciples gathered close around Jesus, eager to listen to him. Jesus began. God has given me all the power in heaven and on earth, in the whole universe. The disciples looked at each other and began chattering again. Whoa, wonderful, we knew it, fantastic. What will you do first? Wait, Jesus said, there's more. The disciples listened carefully. Go everywhere in the world and teach people about me. And remember, I will always be with you. Jesus returned to heaven. The happy disciples soon began the work Jesus had told them to do. And that's where our story ends. On the page next to the little star, it asks this question. What would you have done if you were in the room when Jesus appeared to the disciples? It's a good question. Maybe you can discuss it with your family later. I have a few other things that I want to point out, maybe for a family discussion, from what Jesus, our commanding officer, said and ordered us to do here. The first thing I want to point out is Jesus begins with the words, peace be with you. Now, maybe some of you have been feeling not very peaceful lately. You maybe have been watching the news or having conversations with your parents about things in our world that aren't very peaceful. And I would say things aren't very peaceful right now 
for a reason and a good reason. For years and years, things have not been peaceful for all people. Things in our community need to change in order for everyone to feel safe, especially people of color, people whose skin is black or brown, before there can be peace, true peace, peace from God, we need to work to make the world safe for our friends who are black and brown. I believe if we work together as Jesus commands in this passage, only then can we have peace. Together with your families, I invite you to discuss peace, God's peace, not human peace, not quiet, but God's peace. What might God's peace look like right here and right now? The second point I want to talk about today is the title of this passage. Many of our Bible translations label this section the Great Commission. Now the word commission means mission with. The part of the word that is co means with. So we learn in this passage, right? Jesus says, I will be with you always. That no matter where we go, no matter what work we're doing, hopefully it's work towards God's peace, that we do not do this work alone. We do this work together with each other um, and with people all over the world, kind of like the space station that we talked about earlier, that is all of these nations working together for a common goal. In the same way, we work to tell God's story about God's justice and God's love and God's peace with each other, with people all over the world. We're all working for this goal. But also, Jesus promises to always be with us. And so we will never be alone because Jesus is always with us. So my question is this, who in this mission of sharing God's love and peace and justice in the world have we left out? Who have we not invited to help in this work? We need to ask forgiveness for those who we've left out. And maybe think of how we might invite more people to help us share God's story with the whole world. And lastly, my third point about this story is Jesus says, go, go everywhere. And sometimes instead of calling this story the Great Commission, sometimes I like to use the word go mission, Jesus go mission to all of us. And so this is my last question. How will you begin to share God's justice and peace and love, God's story in all the world? Where will you go and who will you share God's story with? Thank you for joining me today and good luck, space cadets, on your mission. K minus 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.